Hello and welcome to Yamboy Gaming, where we're playing Ark, and today we need to get ourselves some better teams. We have Chops in fifth, we have our little flying bros, but they're all pretty weak. These two are very low leveled, and Chops is a moss Chops. He's held his own against Raptors and Defenders and stuff, and he's performed admirably, but ultimately he will eventually succumb to more deadly creatures if we keep throwing him into battle. So with that in mind, what we're going to do is we're going to head into Sanctuary with the specific aim of finding some crystal first of all. I have seen some lying around because a spyglass would prove very useful. If we find ourselves a spyglass we could then use the spyglass to check the levels of any baryonyxes or sarcosuchus that we see and make sure we only tame one that's actually worth taming. There is a defender stuck in the pool here. There are multiple defenders stuck in the pool. Right, we definitely did see... What is that there? Is that a... It's just a light? It's just a light. We definitely did see Crystal last time we were here. I mean, the blue gemstones often did have crystal in them back on. Ah, there we go. What are we pissed off? We pissed off at insects. All right. What's that down there? Just a stagger. I'm just very worried about what potentially could be lurking around this area. So let's grab ourselves nine crystal and then do we need fiber and wood to make the uh, spyglass let's have a look spyglass we'll unlock both uh, fiber hide and wood all right so we should really probably head back to our base and make it there because we have all those resources back at our base i'm kind of glad we built the base inside this uh, circle this arena style thing it means that we can actually uh, see where it is. There's a tap jar, tape jar, tapi jar, uh, trapped under there. What level is it? Thirty-five. Now, if it was a high level, I'd have actually tried to get that with it being stuck. But thirty-five really doesn't seem worth it. We'll grab some water as well since we're dehydrated. Okay. And then we should now be able to grab some fiber and some wood. And make ourselves both spy glasses. Fiber and then I think the hide is in here. Yeah. There we go. Right, this should make life a lot easier for us. And then we'll have the uh, awesome spyglass to see what the stat distribution is once we've actually tamed something, which I just find really interesting. Okay, so wood goes in here. And I'll just put the crystal in here with that for now. Drop the unnecessary baggage. And it's time to go and actually explore Sanctuary and see what we can find. I don't want to push beyond the boundaries of Sanctuary just yet. I don't think we're quite ready for that. But exploring Sanctuary and seeing if we can get ourselves a nice tame would be good. I wonder if we can tame the, the robots. You can tame tech dinos, but I feel like these are actually robots rather than just tech dinos. Honestly, the whole tech dino thing never seemed to make sense to me. Like, why why are there tech dinos on the island and on other arcs? What are they for? What is their purpose? We've got some raptors, but I'd rather eat my shoe than deal with raptors. They're just not worth the effort you put into them, I don't think. I'm sure there are some people who absolutely adore raptors, but they're just not for me. 
How are we doing on the map? Okay, so we're at the edge of Sanctuary here. I do not feel like we're ready to go into whatever hellhole that is. So let's fly back along. I think we want to be looking for big open spaces and bodies of water and stuff. There was definitely a Baryonyx. We ran away from it. What the hell was that? Oh, it's... What the fuck? I'm going to ignore that, to be honest with you. Yeah. It sounded dramatic, which means it's something beyond my current abilities. We can go and explore stuff like that when we've got a dinosaur that can chomp. Speaking of dinosaurs that can chomp... Uh, that's going to get itself killed. Corrupted? What? I mean, that Rex is totally going to get itself killed, but what the hell's corrupted? Huh. Uh, level 15 Rex wouldn't have been worth it anyway, really. Too weak. Much, much too weak. What's that? Is that a, that's a Bronto, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely don't want one of them. It's interesting because I don't think there's going to be anything higher up, to be honest. So I don't see why there would be. It would make more sense for the dinos to be down at this sort of level. On the floor down here. But we're not seeing any. So... I'm just going to flap around and see if we can find anything at all that fits our requirements as an early sort of battle mount. Let's see what we can find. I'm sure that eventually we will find something in this ruined city since we've spotted Rexes, we've spotted Barrys, we've spotted Sarkos. There will be something somewhere in here. Well, we found a little explorer note that's going to give ourselves a nice buff to these levels. This is another Santiago's log. Ah, Mei Ying is back. So is Santiago the one who they find here? Because they seem to add new characters each time. There we go, seven levels on it, so let's stick them all into stamina so we can fly for a little bit longer. And then we've got one level, let's stick that into health. Right, still haven't found anything useful though. I'm trying to look for those big bodies of water where we found the baryonyx, but... No luck so far. Although this, this, this might be, this might be good. I don't think we've been here, what the heck was that? I don't think we've been here before, so this big body of water here might... It's not a body of water, it's a hole. But it looks like it forms a body of water. And another explorer note! Huh! Bit of a waste getting more explorer notes on this, but I don't care that much. Big monsters in the cave, but the guys we spotted a few hours ago, it's not even close. And the mechanical drones we've been dealing with, all of a sudden our firepower seems pretty underwhelming. Behemoths are the result of element mutation. That would make them my problem in more ways than one. Okay, interesting. Uh, have you got some... Oh, hello! You're going to be a decent little flyer soon, aren't you? actually fly for quite a while now. I think they seem to compound on each other, don't they? The, the boost from XP boosts the next one you find, so it's, it's a good idea to find multiple. But it does feel like a bit of a waste sticking them all onto this pterodon. I see beavers. But nothing deadly. 
Nothing that I would call a battle mount down here. A absolute boatload of resources, though. We'll have to remember this place. Look at all the metal. Crystal, that's going to be brilliant. Alright, let's follow the water, water up and let's see if there are any other... Um, big areas of water that could potentially have life in them. It does seem like it flows from pool to pool almost. No, we've just got a waterfall here. What about if we keep going up? It's nice to have the stamina to actually be able to do this now. Rather than needing to rest every five seconds. Now this looks familiar. That ramp there looks very familiar. Is this where we found the baryonics? I feel like it might... There, there, there. I can see it. To the right of the um, world thing. Let's... Let me have a look. Bugger. Alright, let's reposition ourselves. Where's the globe? There's the globe. There. Wild female baryonyx, level 35. So when tamed, you're looking at what? Level... Over 50? Not terrible. Not... Amazing. But not terrible for our first actual combat tame. First useful tame. Let's have a look, see if there's anything else in this water. We've got a lot of fish and frogs. And beavers. There's a heck of a lot of beavers on this map. Just the one Barry. Okay. How do we go about getting this boy? Girl. No, don't land down there, land on here. Oh, what the hell's that? Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> oh, that was really stupid. I remember... What the heck was I going to say? I was going to say something and then we landed and everything exploded. Right, yeah, I remember someone telling me that baryonics used to be bowlerable, but are not anymore. So... We're going to take it out. We can't use the bowler. It's going to have to be just shots. We're also going to need some prime meat. So I'm thinking we help Tortoise here kill this snake. It's our first job. And then our Pterodon can butcher it. Uh, go away, insect. Right, there we go. Now we've got some prime meat. Oh, we've got the XP buff from the thing, so we're just leveling and leveling and leveling. It's a bit insane. Right. I've got another one there. Where's the Barry gone now? See, I'm worried about the snakes coming over and hurting our Barry while it's unconscious. Well, that snake seems to have gone away, at least. All right. Stick a point into stamina again and into weight for me. And then let's see where this Barry's headed off to. There it is, okay. Alright, we might actually be able to get it from here then. There's a chance. If we shoot well, bugger that snake. That snake's gonna be an issue. The snakes have to die first, I think. They just have to.
So we're gonna help this turtle clear all the snakes out. Because without this, if, if the snakes are here, they're just gonna kill the barrier as soon as it's unconscious. And we will not be able to defend them on foot. There we go, I can hit it from here. And this is a bit more prime meat that we can use. Oh, does Barry only tame with fish? I have a feeling Barry only tames with fish. Right. Bugger. Oh. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm, we have an issue now, don't we? How to get the fish, we need to tame the barret. Actually, if he comes over here, that might work. Come on. We killed it. It's just whether or not we can butcher it without dying is the question. We're gonna have to be really quick. There we go. Run, run, run. If the barry catches us, we die. I don't think it was even chasing us, but there we go. So we now got some prime fish and some raw fish. Now we can try and tame this barry, I think. There it is. gonna run away as soon as it feels it's tranked um, that's the issue there we go it's off which direction has it gone I don't even know where it's gone where the heck did it go is it running away yeah, it's going. It's going. Right. So we can land. And chase him a little bit. Shit. Alright, he decided he didn't want to do that after all. Need to catch him. Need to catch him. Where's he gone? There he is. There. I don't know if that last hit ruined his taming efficiency or not. I think it probably did. In fact, it almost certainly did, which is really annoying. But kind of can't be helped. So that should be getting tamed now. We can fly up here and stay pretty much out of the way. Actually, we'll fly over to that one there. We can fly to here, land to here. Keep an eye on it and let's put it on the setting so we can track it. Yeah, taming effectiveness 68%. It's going to be, oh, it's wrecked, but it is what it is, unfortunately. That last arrow, that last arrow destroyed the taming effectiveness. <laughs> oh dear. And then as soon as this guy's tamed, what I am going to do is change my XP settings because they do feel too high at the moment. Especially when we get the buff from the thing. And I'm just, yeah, it's, they feel way too high, so. It is what it is, unfortunately, for now. I can't really restart, but I can change the settings to make them a little bit better. Stick that to wait. And let's just wait for him to wake up. Well, isn't that the most dreadful barrier you've ever seen? Oh. 
barely worth the effort of taming it, but... It exists, it's not too terrible. Right, so we need to get this one home. I have just logged out and logged back in to check my XP rates, and they're set to one. They're all set to what I think is standard. So I have no idea what's going on with my XP. I don't know if I've just failed to check the settings properly, or if I'm just playing better this time, so I'm leveling up quicker, I don't know. But it is what it is, and I don't seem to be able to change it right this second, unfortunately. Is my Barry gonna die? My Barry's gonna get killed. Immediately. My fucking piranha. Watch. We can check how much health it's got left with the thing. 200 health. Oh, it's healing because it's eating the fish. Which is good. Right, we need to get it home. Yeah, you kill that last fish and you heal a tiny bit. I don't think this Barry's gonna last. I really don't think we're gonna manage to get this Barry home safely, but we'll see. Come over here, come on. It's being attacked by more fish. There we go. Oh, for God's sake. At least it'll have health now when it gets out of the thing. Hello, Dodo with the party hat on. Come on. I think it's set to hunt low hunt fish when it's on low health, which is frustrating. There's no way of getting in there and changing that setting right now. At least she's uh, healing from this rather than getting herself killed. Hmm. And I suppose if she kills all the fish. Apparently fish and baryonyx offers, operate on the same um, spawning table. So if she kills all the fish, there's a greater chance of another baryonyx being here when we come back. Which is... Now she's attacking... Why is she attacking a beaver? What is she doing? Why are you being so fucking aggressive to everything? I'm about to give up on her, to be honest. Just because she seems to feel the need to kill everything. She was doing really well for health, and now she's brought herself back down to 100. Alright, are we good? Can we leave now? Thank you. She's finished eating everything in sight. No, she hasn't. Oh, for God's sake. Again, we're just gonna we're gonna look on the bright side and say that she's cleaning up the uh, the spawn area for us, so we can find a better baryonyx to replace this hungry, hungry hippo. Should have brought a saddle with me. Should have brought a barry saddle with me so that I could just ride her back myself rather than letting the AI dictate her actions. Now. What will this thing do? That's a really good question. It will immediately engage us in combat. Right, we just run, okay, Barry? Come on, we're just gonna get out of here. And hope it gives up and attacks something else. Because I don't think we can beat it. What the heck was that? Oh, the spider. All right, we're gonna run away from that as well. I think we're going in roughly the right direction. Yep, jump down here, Barry. Just need to get the Barry home safely. <laughs> Clearly, it's not a great team if I have to babysit it all the way home, though. But it's the best we've got without leaving Sanctuary, which I am 
really scared of doing at the moment. Okay. I think we're almost there now. I feel like it's just over here, to be honest. But I don't have a great sense of direction with this place just yet. But I recognize this building. Let's go down here and let's turn right up this street here. Right, we're going to need to rest for a bit of stamina in a second, but if we can get to the end here. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Look at my masterful sense of direction. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering what stats we pump into the Barry. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe health, and then we just use it as a thing we sit on while we tame other stuff. Although, maybe we could just get a parasol for that. Honestly, yeah, probably a high-level parasol would do a better job as a, as a tank for us to tame while sat on. Barry should probably be a mixture of melee and health, so that we can actually have like a harvesting and fighting dino. If we can get her back alive. There were defenders around here. And they seem to be really aggressive to just everything, randomly, without any reason. Okay, let's land our ter pterodon in here. Let's get off. Stuck. Right. Baryonyx saddle needs a little bit more fiber and a little bit more metal. It's fiber and metal. There we go. Yeah, all my XP settings, so the XP settings for each individual thing and then the over overall XP multiplier are all set at one. And obviously single player settings are not turned on. So I'm not sure why I feel like I've been leveling up so quickly. There might be a setting that I've just missed that I just haven't spotted. Um, that would be very irritating. But the whole thing is quite irritating. I don't want to be leveling up this quickly. It feels too fast for me. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's get you to drop a lot of this fish. You don't need all this fish. Let's get on top of you and let's have a look. Oh, I miss Barry's. I do. I miss Barry so much. The speed and the turning. Barry's are brilliant. Okay, levels. Your melee damage is just dreadful. So let's... Let's do it like that. Oh, pointing to melee does nothing on it. So what we need is a better Barry. But I feel a little bit safer actually exploring on this. Exploring Sanctuary on this might be a bit safer, but then again, it might be really the opposite. Because of course with the ter Pterodon we could fly. And she is just dreadful. Like, absolutely dreadful. I think, you know what, I think we leave her here. Genuinely. And we go back out on the Pterodon and see if we can find anything else. We'll take the Barry saddle with us. In case we find another Barry. But yeah, I, I think it's back out on the Pterodon. And keep looking for a tame, because I just don't think that cuts... I don't think she cuts it at all. I just don't think she's good enough. We'll take some of that fish if it hasn't despawned. Because the fish is useful for taming. And it's it's kind of a pain in the ass to get fish when you're on a pterodon. Whereas meat's really easy. So... Oh, uh, we're very overweight though. Hello, little thing. How are you? Um, hmm. Are you carrying a lot? Is that why? You're carrying quite a bit, but not so much that it should make a huge difference. I think this saddle is a health thing. Alright, we'll just leave the saddle then. Because we can transport them without it. We'll leave the saddle, we'll leave the bowler. We'll obviously drop that. Take them, we'll take them, we'll take that, we'll take that. 
get a drink and then we can go exploring again. Is that the right amount of weight for you now? Yeah, you can fly with this now. Okay, that's that's better. That's more acceptable. Right. The last time we went to the left, so this time let's go to the right and explore this sort of tip of it. Again, I'm not really willing to go outside of Sanctuary just yet, but we can have a look what we've got in this area of Sanctuary. A very beat up, and I mean very beat up Brontosaurus. Wow. I wonder what attack that. Probably the defense units, to be honest. They seem to attack everything. Just, they're not friendly. <laughs> this makes me want to see, like, a non ruined version of these cities. I know Arc 2 is going in the opposite direction and is going less tech and more primitive. But seeing this makes me want to see something go the opposite direction. Like, makes me want to see something that's completely tech. I want to see what humans in this time period were fully capable of, without it all being ruins. Is it me or does that look like a cave or a bunker or something? Should we go have a look? I know it's technically outside of our area. And then there's like a trench here. Harsh conditions cause increased food consumption in the wasteland. Okay. So what's this? Just a... Just like a cavern thing. Doesn't even look like there's anything in it really. Right, let's go and have a look at what that bunker cave thing is. See if there's anything interesting around there. And then we'll head back inside. I know I said I wasn't going out of Sanctuary, but... That looks too interesting to ignore. Yeah, yeah, increase food consumption in the wasteland. That's fine, that's fine. So this, actually, this area is called the Wasteland then, I guess. Oh, mama, what is that? Is that... That's a T-Rex. So that's a Giga. A purple Giga. Corrupted Gigasaurus. That's so corrupted by element, I guess, then. And you're a regular Rex. But you're only level 10 and you're surrounded by corrupted stuff. Gas? Gas pipe? What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna run off a theory that corrupted is similar to alpha. Ah, oh, jeez! RG! That was an RG! Level 10, so blech, but still RGs. Yeah, I'm gonna run off the theory that Corrupted and Alpha are similar, and that therefore Corrupted cannot be tamed and are stronger. That's the theory I'm running off. Seems to make the most sense given the. Uh, Given the patterns this game likes. Right. And are they aggressive as well? Let's see. So these are herbivores, but they're corrupted. So let's see if these are aggressive. Hello. Yep, completely aggressive. Yep, so corrupted creatures are entirely aggressive. That's snow. Okay. So we've got different types of biomes surrounding us. That's interesting. All right, sanctuary looks really fucking cool, doesn't it? Desert over there. I'm judging by that ring around it, the obelisk in the middle, and then the arc, the arch over it. I'm gonna guess they're arcs of some sort. Hello, Rex. What are you? What level are you? Ten. No. If we can find a higher level Rex, I would genuinely commit right here and now to taming her. But level 10, it's just not worth it. I don't think.
we can find like a 50 a 50 minimum that'd be that'd be really good i'd tame a level 75 because it'd be 75 ones when we got it i'd tame that that wouldn't be bad for like day what are we on day day three the pr <laughs> Oh, it's mad how different this game plays in the early game when you actually have... I'm not going to try and claim to be an expert at all, but when you have a vague idea of what's going on and what you're supposed to be doing. Like, this is the first start of the game where I've genuinely felt like I know what the hell's going on. Alright, doesn't look like we've found anything over in this section, other than a way out. So, I'm going to go back down to the other end and explore that and see if we can find anything else to tame. Okay, so we stumbled across an enforcer that was having a fight, and we put a couple of arrows into it from a safe distance, and it died. And then when I went down to check it out, we got ourselves a blueprint. And the blueprint requires an absolute boatload of resources, but I'd really like to try and make that our next goal. To achieve that, to get this uh, enforcer blueprint built. I think that would be a really, really, really cool thing to build. And it might actually be the best team we have available to us here in Sanctuary. Potentially. Oh, crap, I've run out of stamina. <laughs> Wasn't watching my stamina. Yeah, we got whacked twice and we, our equipment broke, but other than that... So, it is... It is in here. There. Level 83. I don't know if that's good or not, but it requires a lot of stuff. A lot of crystal, a lot of element, a lot of polymer. Oh shit, let's go. It might be beyond us right at this, this moment in time. But at the same time, it might not. And have I gone the wrong way to get home? I think I've gone the wrong way to get home. I've definitely gone the wrong way to get home, because I've reached a green obelisk, of all things. I didn't even realise this was here. There's nothing under it. Huh. Might be a great place to get some cementing paste there, though. Right, let's get back. Yeah, we could get some cementing paste from there. I'm sure I've seen some obsidian rocks and stuff. So, hmm. Might take a good few hours of grinding to get the resources, but I think it'd be worth it. Alright, let's get home, and then let's get grinding these resources. Okay, we've got another enforcer here, and I'm wondering if he's killable. For us. On our barry. If he is... He's level 8, he's... Mm, no, I think if, if they're low levels, we could probably kill them on the barry to try and get some of the resources we need to make them, but if they're high level, probably not. What I'm actually looking for is see if we can find a high level parasaur um, to use as a carrying dino, basically. To help us haul resources around. We've got some metal here and stuff, for example, but... We just don't have a lot of weight. I mean, there's a... There's an Anki there. That is really shit, though. Let's kill this guy, because we don't want them running around near our house. And what level are you? What level are you? Level 10, also not really worth it. really really bad levels we can just turn into XP right let's see I saw something down in this water here whatever it was it's gone or oh, dead dead raptor by the look of it oh hello you already weakened from the fighting with the raptor and only level 35 let's give it a try it's the worst that can happen. We can get resources from make for making them from this guy. 
Yeah, nice. Nice, that worked really well. And what's this item that we've dropped? A... Oh, so they drop a blueprint every, t every time they die. Right. Alright, we can take this resource back. So this is this is how we're going to do it. We're just going to slowly and steadily collect up our resources and see if we can't get ourselves a enforcer by the end of this episode. Okay, so we've got pretty much all of the resources except a little bit of metal which we have to wait for and then the polymer. Now, polymer's going to be tricky I think. What we could do is we could increase our weight on this and we could leave everything we don't need here. Take, like, don't bring our crossbow, don't bring our axe, don't bring the bowler. Just literally bring our pickaxe. In fact, maybe even take off our armor. Just take absolutely nothing with us. Let's repair this. And then that way we can get... I've got all this from fighting a lot of enforcers, a lot of low-level enforcers. And... Bringing a heck of a lot of fucking lampposts. We've got enough metal cooking. So what I'm thinking is, yeah, so we're quite low on the weight of this creature now. Oh, you can stay. We get ourselves our drink. Then, I'm pretty sure that we saw some obsidian over in that cave area where the Argies were. So we're going to head down there, see if we can fly in, grab a bit, and fly out, and see how much, how many times we need to do that in order to get the 200 polymer we're going to need to make this. Then, 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 there is one last step. There is a level 120 enforcer near our base. Once we have all of the resources that I need to craft the best ex enforcer we can currently make, once we have all of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride the Moss Chops, Chopsy. I'm going to order the Baryonyx to follow me, and together the two of us are going to see if we can take out that 120 enforcer and get a better blueprint. Because if we die, it doesn't matter. Because we've got all the ingredients we need to make the blueprint that we've got already. So if we if we lose Moss, Moss Chops and we lose Barry, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't set us back. But if we gain a better blueprint, that's good. Yeah. So that's the plan right now. So let's see if we can grab some obsidian from in here first. I'm sure it was here. It might not have been. I'm sure I've seen obsidian in this game. Back. I'm gonna guess this is an obsidian. No, this is just regular stone. Right. Well, that's an issue, isn't it? I need to try and remember where I saw it. I'm certain I've seen some. 100% certain I've seen some. But I haven't seen any creatures that drop organic polymer yet, so... So, if we can't find it... We're kinda screwed. Which is really frustrating, because we're so close. Alright. Let's see if we can remember where it was, and... Then we'll go pick some up. Okay, it's time. We're taking our Chopsy, we're taking our Baryonyx, and we're going to try and find the 120. It is floating around somewhere down here. That's a horse. Go away. There's an 80. There's the 120. Right. I'd like to try and fight it by itself, if possible. Maybe... No, taming another Moss Chops won't help, because it'll just run away. Without me on top of it, it won't actually fight. Maybe we shoot the Enforcer to bring it over to us. Yeah, that's probably going to be the best way of doing it, because we don't want both of them coming over. And there are two. Uh, 
Where's the other one gone? Like, this is the wrong one. This one's the 80. So where's the 120 gone? It's not gone all the way down there, has it? 60... 80... Is that a third one there? No, there's a ten. Yeah, there are three down there, but one's a ten. Right, this might be it here. I'm sure, I just saw one. There. That's it. Right. Okay. Let's see if together we can actually take it out. I have no idea if together we're strong enough to do this or not. I don't think either of our teams could have done it by themselves. There we go. There we go. Right. Where's the thing? Where is? Hubs his body. And then let's pick up this. Well, hello. Oh, it takes so much more stuff to craft. No, it's really, really good. But it takes so much more shit to craft. I don't think I can rely... I don't think I can do that. I think that's beyond me. I do think that's beyond us. All right. We'll craft the, the level 81, and then... I think it's a level 83, and then maybe we'll use that to eventually get this level 120 done but that that's that's too much i can't do that <laughs> oh it's like double the resources and i've already spent like two three hours i mean what day are we on now day five so i spent like two and a half hours or so grinding out resources for this <laughs> all right we'll make the uh we'll make the 80. jesus right I'm going to gather all the resources, and then we're going to put it together. I think we can do it. We can do it. We can just about do it. I realize now that I could have made one so, so much earlier. But I have no idea what level that one comes out at, to be honest. So... Not knowing what level it comes out at makes me glad that I didn't do it because it might have just been a massive waste of uh, resources. Right, how does this work then? Unassembled Enforcer. Oh! It works like that. Right, should we have a look at its stats? So what has it got? It's got 900 in carry weight. Nice! 1,500 in health, 119 damage. It's, it's better than the Barry, I think, to be honest. nice jump it's quite fast it's the thing we played with on the island isn't it so doesn't it have like a like a teleport yeah nice okay this is really cool this is gonna be really useful for getting around this city can it climb Yep, it can climb as well. Oh, this is the perfect fucking tame for this place, isn't it? Yeah, this is just perfect. What do we got for attacks? We've got... Nothing on the C, nothing on the A. We've just got a stomp attack. Okay. What level is this one? 80? Should we try it out? So we're doing quite a bit more damage. I want to see if we can level up. I haven't actually checked that yet. And I want to see how much resources we actually collect as well. 
Yeah, Enforcer has a level up, yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. I still don't know what the cake's for. Right, so we can level him up just like anything else. And we got ourselves another blueprint. For our level 76 one, okay. So we need to decide what we're doing with this guy. Is he going to be a... Oh yeah, I'm taming another Pterodon. <laughs> is he going to be a resource gathering creature or is he going to be a combat creature? I know I just put two points into his combat, but maybe I shouldn't have done that. If he's going to be a resource gathering creature, which he kind of seems like he might be good for, with that carry weight, then we can use him to get the resources we need to make a base or make that level 121. Um, can we use items while we're climbing up the wall? Can we use our crossbow? No. Okay, so we can't dangle from the wall with our crossbow, unfortunately. But we can still get ourselves up here with some pretty nice views. Does it take fall damage? I'm going to assume it doesn't. Or it takes very low fall damage. Yeah, basically not. And I'm going to guess it doesn't need to eat. So is there any way of making it heal quickly? That's a good question. Saddle, but I don't think it has a saddle. Right, well, there's a lot of stuff we need to think about with playing with this new creature. But I think that is a really, really, really good place to end the episode. We do have ourselves a Baryonyx. We have ourselves an Enforcer. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. And a big thank you to our Patreons and members over on Patreon. We have Turtle in 480p and for our members on the Apprentice Kibble rank we have Shay, Jason, Ender, Elias, Amanda, Jojo, Andrew and ready and then for our mastercraft kibble rank we have king cholo so a huge thank you to all of you